Good evening and welcome to ATV News. I'm Charity Pepazani. Here are your top stories this Thursday. Yesterday, ATV News reported on the pressure building at three petrol stations in Nakonde, Zambia. Motorists were queuing and some having to spend the night in their vehicles because of fuel shortages. It now appears that Lusaka is feeling the effect of the crisis. Wednesday night saw motorists in the capital queue for fuel as most filling stations had no petrol. The energy minister, Yamfa Mukanga, told state television that he does not understand why there is no fuel in Lusaka and Nakonde. He added that the shortage cannot be attributed to the Indani refinery oil in Dola. Mukanga placed most of the blame on oil companies stating that they have stopped giving fuel on credit to filling stations, which might be the cause of the shortage. On ATV News, we've been following a dispute that is raging in Harare, Zimbabwe, between the Zimbabwe Book Fair and Theatre in the Park. The book fair are the custodians of four gazebos in Harare Gardens, considered a prime location. For the last 17 years, Theatre in the Park have used one of the gazebos for their shows, but now this year, the book fair have denied them access for contractual reasons. Joining us to discuss this is Leslie Moyo from Rooftop Productions, who organizes Theatre in the Park. So Leslie, could you tell us about this conflict and how it began? Um, the, the, the main issue is uh, the issue of the contract that uh, the Zimbabwe Book Fair wants us to sign. Um, previously, we had uh, a one-year contract with them, but then it expired uh, at the beginning of this, of this year. So the new contract that they, they've tabled is, uh, is now six months and we are not in agreement with that. And also within that contract, there are certain clauses that we, we fall that we, we, we are not in agreement with and um, therefore we have not yet signed the contract. And that uh, has caused a, a conflict between the, both parties and then they have since said that if we do not sign that contract, uh, then we will not have uh, access to the venue, meaning that uh, if we do not sign that contract, it means then uh, we cannot have uh, access to the venue, and that uh, affects our, our our programming. And because we we survive on on on, on running uh, uh, theatre plays at, at that venue, as we, as we have been doing uh, for the past seventeen years. Leslie, could you tell us more about the work that theatre in the park does? Uh, theatre in the Park is a professional uh, theatre venue that hosts uh, various plays from different uh, production houses and uh, individual producers. So in a year we run uh, an average of about 15 plays, with eight of them being uh, local productions and uh, four uh, being regional uh, productions and, and then ideally the, the remainder of them being international uh, productions. So if you're unable to work in Harare Park, how many people will be affected by this? Uh, so far, it has, it has already affected uh, around about uh, 30 artists because we have had to cancel about four shows. And uh, we, we all, in a year, uh, we work with uh, over 80 artists. And so we, we, that, that's, that's the number that we are looking at, at people who will be directly affected uh, with, uh, with, 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 uh, with us not uh, having any shows. But not only that, but also we, we risk uh, suffering, losing our, our valuable clientele. We have supported uh, data and the park in all these years because uh, we have had to, to turn them away uh, when they come for, to, to wash our shows when, when, when we, we have been made to move out. So we, uh, so artists uh, risk losing uh, their source of income, and also we risk uh, losing and uh, our clientele. And not only that, but also a 17-year-old legacy that we have built. Yeah. Thank you so much, Leslie, for speaking to me today. All right. Thank you so much. In Malawi, there is a panic as pharmaceutical drugs across the country are being recalled due to substandard quality. 
The Pharmacy Medicines and Poisons Board is calling aspirin tablets and Ringer's lactate, which are manufactured by Pharmanova Limited and Nama Limited, respectively. The decision comes after the board carried out a post-marketing inspection in various clinics, medicine stores and pharmacies across Malawi. Acting Registrar for the board, Wilfred Matia, confirmed that some of the drugs were substandard and should not be taken as medicine. Some of the drugs were even found to be molding. In entertainment news, yesterday on ATV we told you about Zambian rapper Rough Kid and his award for Best International Artist at the BAFTA Awards in London. For those that missed it, here's a clip of Rough Kid's big collaboration with Slap D and Zone Fam. <laughs> Well, I'm delighted to say Rough Kid joins me on the line now. Now you won the BAFTA Awards, yeah? yeah? What a great achievement that is. Are you proud about that? That is, man. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the happiest people in the world right now. It's something that I'm so humbled. Uh, I, I believe it's a blessing, you know, because uh, I've been praying for this. I've been working so hard to be here where I am today. And then, uh, I think God has just uh, done it for me, so I'm the happiest person. So you know what kind of message do you portray with your music? Um, really I talk about whatever surrounds me, you know. If I'm not happy about something, if there's a studio nearby, I will bring it out like that, you know. That's me. You know, um, I don't fear anyone. I don't fear to be beaten. I don't fear to be shot. <laughs> Like, I just bring out things the way I look at, at, at them, you know, the way they come to me. So, that's me. If I'm not happy about even the president, I can talk about it. So, why did you feel you had to explain your nomination to the people? What? Why did you feel you had to explain your nomination? You know, you had you were nominated at the BAFTA yeah. Awards. Why did you feel you had to explain that? Because, uh, you know, uh, I think in Africa, just not in Zambia, we've got... Uh, this kind of PhD, you know, we don't like seeing someone achieving something. Um, we always have a negative say about it, which is not fair, you know, which is not good. Because uh, I believe, you know, our friends here, why um, like, uh, these countries here, they are so developed, it's because they celebrate for the other person, they feel good for the other person. But us, we've got this uh, thing of when you see someone like achieving something, there will be always like, a negative word about it saying, ah. You know, maybe just by lucky, hey, maybe, you know what I mean, which is not fair. Because this is not just about me, it's about, I've seen it when uh, even like um, uh, Kalu Shabwadi, I know, was, uh, uh, was the president of FAS before they won the Africa Cup. People had a lot to say saying he's not the right person, you know. Even right now what's happening, like uh, Felix Katongo, when he scores a goal, people are saying he's using Juju, so... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's the right thing, you know. It's all over the news and all. So, you know, when when they came to me, I saw some comments on my Facebook. Some people were saying, no, those awards are the ones who own those awards. They are Zambia. They've just favored Rafke. Rafke can't beat the band, you know. So I'm like, come on. Instead of me having my own supporting me, it's about me. So that's why I thought of explaining, you know. So that I was just trying to clear myself. Yeah, we're very happy for you, Rafkid, and obviously I think the people in Zambia are excited about that as well. So uh, what are you hoping for the future, you know, with this recognition that you've got right now? Um, actually, I've got a lot of plans and hopes. Um, here, me and my, manager, my management, actually, we're thinking of, uh, we, we are pushing for a good musical video, music video, I mean, that's going to make us uh, crossover, like crossover all over, you know what I mean? Like the way these other artists are doing, like the Nigerians. Um, and so we're, we're planning and trying hard to, to shoot a very good music video that's going to make us uh, put Zambia on the map. And then besides that, I'm, 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 
I'm planning just, you know, I think this is a platform that Bex has given me to hit international. So um, I'm working towards it and uh, I won't let it slip out of my hands. I'll use this as something that's going to make me, at the end of the day, maybe mingle with people like Jay-Z and so on. So I'm looking forward for it. So what, what your time in, in the United Kingdom, what are you hoping to achieve? Um, first, I'm doing a song uh, with the artist. I don't want to confirm because uh, maybe it might not be cool with uh, uh, his management team. And then uh, two, uh, there's a video shoot that I'm, I, I think two videos that we're shooting. So that by the time I'm, go, I'm going home, I'll have something that's a good product that I can even show the Zambians that, hey, I've done this. Marcel Sankoma, thank you so much for speaking to myself today. All right, thank you very much for having me. As you know, at ATV, we're always aiming to promote talented musicians and artists. We want to hear their stories. Today, we're hearing from Jusa Demento, a prominent musician and producer from Zimbabwe, who talks about his journey so far. Jusa Demento came from um, people who called me the producer, and then they called me the producer, and then it was shortened to Jusa. Uh, Dementa comes from the mentor because I mentor quite a lot of artists, so the two names caught on Jusa Demento. Well, it's been hard, um, but a lot of consistency, uh, faith, and hard work um, never fails. I mean, if you continue doing something and sharpening your skills over a period of time, you're bound to get better, and I am a testimony of that. That's what's happened with me. I've continued doing it, and I think the fundamental thing that's kept me going and being continuous with it is the fact that I love what I do. I really enjoy music. Um, even if I wasn't to get paid for it at any point, I'll still continue to do it because it's a passionate thing that I do. I love it. Recently I worked with the great Beanie Man, I work with artists from Nigeria like Shodem Camp. Um, I'm working I'm currently working on something with Davido. Um, I've worked with uh, Knox, Winky D, Sana, Robbie G, Beacon Cash, Decibel, uh, Shanky, Cynthia Mare, um, Cindy, um, Oh, and a whole lot of other artists out there. I've worked with, with quite a lot of artists out there. I've worked with Just Russ, I've worked with um, ST, I've worked with Fireflex, Sean Arilla, Rhymes, who is currently number one producer in the UK. I've worked with a lot of people. Again, it's, I think it comes down to consistency. I mean, Rhymes, I remember, Rhymes was like 15 when I met him and was going to um, a high school in Derby, which is the area I live in uh, here in the UK. And um, we used to just meet up, he would come after school to my house and we'd just be playing around on this um, uh, music program software called Fruity Loops. And um, it just developed, we kept on pushing and you know, we've never stopped. I don't think there's ever been a month where either one of us has never made a beat. And um, as a result, this is what's come up out of it. You know, we've managed to overcome and do wonders. Just continue working hard, but making sure that each time you're um, reaching a milestone, sharpen your skills, make sure you're getting better. Don't just work hard and remain at the same level. Always try and analyze yourself, you know, do appraisals of your own work, find out where you're at and what you went, what you did wrong, what went wrong, and then develop yourself from that and move on. And you surely will overcome. Things are hotting up in the Zimbabwe Premier League with the champions Dynamo thrashing black members by three goals to nil. The scorers were Simba Stole, Timire Mamvura and Cliff Sekete. Black Mambas lost two players at the, end of, at the end of the match after Patrick Muswere and Sam Timire were both sent off for violent conduct. Highlanders edged past Buffaloes with a closely forced 1-0 lead. They stay on the heels of their arch-rivals Dynamos. Scorer Masimba Mambare drew home from close range after just 14 minutes. This was redemption for Mambare who was taken off in a match against Dynamos where he performed poorly. Highlanders should have scored more but they, had, but they still got away with three points to stay in the title race. Chicken Inn thrashed Blue Rangers by five goals to one with an impressive display. Tabani Goredema scored in the fourth minute 
other goals came from Thomas Shimenya, Brian Berry, and Mahachi. Blue Rangers are still, though, fighting relegation. In Malawi, Blue Eagles FC said they did not clear striker Chikondim Pululi to play for the Azan Tigers. They are accusing the Tigers of illegally playing Pululi in their match against Silver Strikers. Tigers have hit back and claimed that they did in fact get clearance from Eagles to use the player. The argument is expected to continue and the Super League of Malawi is expected to make a comment on the issue. And in Zambia, Chipolo Polo coach Herr Renard has named a 23-man developmental team to travel to India for a 10-day intense training program. According to initial statements from the trip sponsor, Concola Copper Mines, the tour is part of the team's intense preparations for their title defense. Football Association of Zambia communications officer Eric Mwanza say, say that the team would leave for India on the 19th of November, two days after the closure of the 2012 soccer season and return by the 30th of November. That's all for tonight's sports. Good night. Today's photo of the day has been awarded to Evans Bahara and it features his two young brothers. Keep sending us your great photos to our ATV Facebook page and you could appear on the big screen. Thank you for watching ATV News and have a good evening. Mm -hmm.